Hey everyone, I'm Cindy Diaz and in today's video, I am going to show you how to get the look that I'm wearing, which has a crazy pop of green on the lid that is perfect for the spring. After applying an eyeshadow base, I am going in with a skin tone colored eyeshadow and I'm applying it with a fluffy blending brush from the crease all the way up to the brow bone to give the darker colors something to blend into. Next I am going in with an eyeshadow that's two shades darker and I am concentrating that in the crease and I'm not going all the way up to the brow bone this time because I want to create a gradient effect going from dark to light. Next I'm going to apply a navy blue eyeshadow with a shader brush on the inner and outer corners of my eyes. I'm going for a halo effect around the green eyeshadow. So that's why I'm leaving the center blank. And because I don't want any harsh lines, I'm using a fluffy blending brush and circular motions to diffuse any harsh edges. With a pointed crease brush, I'm applying more of that navy blue eyeshadow into the crease this time and I'm going to diffuse that color with a blending brush because as I mentioned we don't want any harsh lines. Whenever I'm working with a really bright eyeshadow I like to use a white base to really make the color pop. So I'm using a white pencil and I apply it a little bit onto my fingertips and I am dabbing it onto the center of my lid where I will be applying the green. Now it's time for the fun part which is applying that crazy vibrant green eyeshadow and the color that I'm using is number 171 by Makeup Forever and I'm using the opposite side of the shader brush and I'm packing it on and I'm stopping and looking in the mirror to make sure I get the same amount and intensity on each eye. Now it's time for, you guessed it, more blending and it's really important to blend so that you get that gradient and get that halo effect and when you're blending in between the blue and the green you will lose some intensity so I just go back and add more green or blue as needed. After lining the inner rims of my eyes with black eyeliner I skipped over that part because it looks really scary on camera. I am applying that navy eyeshadow again with a smudge brush on the lower lash line. I blended out the bottom edge with that medium brown eyeshadow that we used earlier and a blending brush so that it looks really diffused and blown out and kind of mirroring what we did in the crease. I finished up the eyes with one of my favorite volumizing mascaras which is the Maybelline The Falsies Volume Express Mascara. I already applied my foundation and concealer and now it's time to warm up my face with some bronzer. I'm really pale and bronzer is about as close as I'm gonna get to a beach right now in the dead of winter and I'm using a cheek brush to apply it with light sweeping motions. Next I'm applying blush and I'm using a peach color from a duo by NARS and with a cheek brush I'm just applying it along my cheeks above the bronzer just to give myself a little extra color. Since the focus of the look is on the eyes I chose a lip color that didn't compete with it and the one that I'm using is called Nude Lust by Maybelline. 